I'm back on my bed wall background, <laughs> which means I'm gonna do another book review. So this time I have The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Mon Monk Kid. Yes. And this book was actually we had to read it for English class. But I enjoyed it a lot. So I was like, well, yeah, let's do a review about it. So this is a very famous book, really famous book. And uh-huh. I still have no idea what to talk about in the book reviews. Anyways, a uh, quick summary. Uh it's about this girl called Lily who uh who lives with her father, who she calls Tiray. She doesn't call him dad or daddy or whatever, she, because he is kind of really strict and mean. So it's just Tiray. And her mother got shot by Lily. So Lily shot her mother by accident, obviously. It was totally an accident. But uh, then from that point on, she always feels the emptiness of not having a mother. And then one day, since this is set in South Carolina in 1964, uh, um, African Americans didn't have the same, didn't have, didn't have equal rights as the white population, American population. So they had this um, woman who worked in a peach or or chart or or chart, you know, peach peach plantation, and that uh, she's. This woman, Rosaline, has been taking care of Lily since uh, her mom died. So, uh, I was talking about. Okay, god damn it. Right. My summaries are all over the place all the freaking time. So, Rosaline um, heads the town so she can register to vote because the Civil Rights Act had just passed. Uh, and Lily goes with her, but uh, these men tease. Uh, Rosaline and stuff, you know, usual racist comments. And Rosaline sends up for herself, but she ends up in jail. So Lila decides, okay, it's time to run away. I cannot stand here anymore, and Rose is in jail, I cannot leave her there. So she busts um, Rosaline out of jail, and they go on to Tiburon, I think that's how I pronounce it, which is another city nearby. And she goes there because uh, she found her mother's some of her mother's possession, and on one thing was a picture of a black Madonna, and on the back, the words Tiburon, South Carolina, were written there. So she goes to Tiburon with Rosaline, and that was my escape. Anyways, um, and then there she finds where the black Madonna comes from. Shut up, escape. And she finds these three sisters, uh, African-American, uh, August, June, and May. Yes, like the months. And pretty much her story starts, well, continues with them, and she pretty much finds a second mother. And that's my phone vibrating because I got Skype messages. <sighs> Anyways, she finds her mother in this other, in, I'm not gonna tell you who, and then all this other drama happens, let's say. It's really, really sad, actually. And, and all the while, uh, there's bees. Because, well, bees, it's used as a metaphor for Lila's life, pretty much. And the three sisters are beekeepers. So that's how it comes into literal, literal connection with the, um, Lily's life. But it's really, really interesting. And at least in this edition, uh, at the beginning of every chapter, there's a this thingy. I, I just had a quiz today about it, and I forgot the name of it. But but I'm pretty sure I answered it correctly on the quiz, so I hope so. But yeah, so, and this are usually about bees. Like, for example, this one. Um, Honeybees are social insects and live in colonies. Each colony is a family unit comprising a single, egg-laying female or queen, and her many sterile daughters called workers. The workers cooperate in the food gathering, nest building, and rearing the offsprings. Males are reared only at the times of year when their presence is required. And then this is by, from the book Bees of the World. 
and all these little thingies, uh, epithet, uh, something like that, um, introduce the chapter. So something, so they're connected to a chapter. And yeah, the chapters are really, really long, like really long. But it's pretty, it's easy to read, so you read it fast. And in total, I believe there's 300 pages. Yep, 302 pages. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a movie about it. Movie, movie time. Um, so what I thought about this book. Um, it's pretty original in the sense how bees are brought into it. And, I don't know what else to say, because we talked so much about it in class that I don't want to hear about it anymore. That's the problem with reading books from school, like that, they force you to read it, it's like, you're forced. So it's like, I have enough of this, give me something else. But yeah, um, this is one of the few books that I heard a lot, a lot, a lot of positive comments from my classmates. Usually like, oh, this is boring, I'm not gonna read it. But many people actually read it this time, which is a miracle. I actually read every single book that the teacher gives me, alright? And I'm not lying. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so what else to say? Um, there's also a little bit of romance in here if you're into that, so. And this is the last time, a tradition I do is reading the last sentence. So let me go to it. They are the moons shining over me. That is the last sentence of the book. And I'm not going to tell you what that refers to. Because I don't know what to say! Just read the book! I was gonna say something else, but I forgot. Oh yeah! Thanks for the 10 subscribers! Yeah! So we finally got 10 subscribers. Thank you so, so, 